Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi friends, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. Today we're going to be covering subtraction. What's subtraction? Well, let's take a look here. I have four blocks. One, two, three, four. Right? If I want to take one away, let's take one away, I remove this block, and I have one, two, three. Four minus one, or take away one, is three. But look at this. One, two, three, I add one, and there's four. Subtraction and addition are related to each other. Again, let's look at it a different way. I have one, two, three red squares. I have a green square, and that makes up four. I take away the green square, and there's three. Let's look at a little bit different number. So let's say I have, let's see here, I have one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to put it in here six. So I have six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right? Take one away. Now I have one, two, three, four, five. Five. Let's look at it another way. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six lines, or six pieces, whatever it is. I take one away. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Let's work on some larger numbers now. Let's see what we have here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks. Now wait, I'm going to take away two or minus two. So eight minus two. So I'm taking this away, literally. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Huh. Six, seven, eight. 8 minus 2 is 6. We can even look at it with a larger number for 2's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's 10. I have 10. You can use your fingers as well. 10 minus 2 is 4 and 4. Oh, that's a small double. Is 8. Same thing here. I take away those 2. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Easy peasy. And we have one last one here. Let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Take away two. I have one, two, three, four, five. Now let's go into some larger numbers. And I'm going to use the whiteboard instead. So I'm going to work with 14 minus 1. How would you figure that out? Take a moment, pause the video, and see what you would do. Well, here's what I would do. There's several different ways, but I would take that minus 1. I would say minus 1. So I have 14. So there's four things. So I have four. And I can even put it here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Take away 1. I want to have three ones. So that's going to be 3. I still have a 10 in that column. There we go. It's 13. Let's look at some other numbers. Let's go a bit larger. So I have 26 minus 1. Well, another way to look at this is to, let's, let's break it down, say 20 plus 6 minus 1. Use your fingers. I have 6, I take away 1, I have 5. So now that's 5, and that's 20 plus 5 is equal to 25. There's so many different ways to deconstruct and to construct numbers. Let's take a look at a larger number, what we're going to subtract 2. I start out with 38 minus 2. Now we can do the standard algorithm, which is 38 minus 2. So 8 minus 2. Use your fingers if you need to. 8 minus 2 is 6. So there we go. We have 6. And I bring down that 10, which is 3 tens, and we have 36. Can you think of a different way to do this? Here's something a little more challenging. We have 11 minus 2. How can, how can we work with that? 
Well, let's deconstruct it and make it so. Because you, know, you, you don't have enough fingers. There's ten fingers. It's like, ah, oh, do I get that eleven one? That's okay. Let's deconstruct it so we have a ten in there. And we can subtract that two from the ten. So what we have, eleven is ten plus one, or one plus ten minus two. Well, I can do the stat algorithm there, or I can use my fingers. I can say 10 minus 2, right, is 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There we go. So I have 8. So this is actually 1 plus 8, which equals to 9. And that equals to 9. And that equals to 9. You can reverse it. You can add those numbers back. So if I have... 9 plus 2, just to make sure, so if I have that 9 plus 2, we can count on 10, 11. There you go, boys and girls. So that is beginning subtraction. That's it for today. Remember, math fluency replaces math anxiety. Watch, learn, and subscribe. Have a great day.